I was glad to play a little Radiohead every now and then. Welcome to the stream. Bound to get back into it. We are doing some more Alan Wake 2. I uh, feel like we're getting kind of close just based off the fact that I was playing a bit on my own time. And uh, I'm very close to collecting every collectible. In fact, I'm just missing one. There is one singular collectible that I cannot get, and I think it's in a story section. Uh, so we might, <laughs> just based off of that fact, be closing in on the end here. We'll see. There's actually quite a few, I guess, uh, in the dark world in Alan's section of the game. There's a bit that uh, still needs to be collected there. But otherwise, everything with Saga is pretty much wrapped up. Uh, tried to do some uh, of Wake's Dark World collectibles, but uh, I am seemingly locked out of the subway area and the underground tunnels, uh, which sucks because taking a look at the map there um, and realizing what all the symbols and everything mean, uh, yeah, it seems like I'm missing quite a bit of a few words of power and some other stuff, so not so great. <laughs> seeing as I can't get back there, but, you know, it's, uh, is what it is, I suppose. Had I known that I would not, like, ever be able to get back into that point, at least, you know, the section that I'm in right now, uh, probably would have scrounged around on the stream, see if I could get some of that stuff, but, oh well. I was able to clear out the hotel, um, the rooftops preceding the hotel, and uh, some of the just general New York area that's in the dark world. And that's where we're going to pick up. We're going to pick up with Mr. Wake. As far as... Let's see. Looks like I've got all the inventory I probably want. Uh, goals, we need to find Alice and get to the Parliament Tower. So that should just be right behind us. So let's get right into it, see what we can do. Um, last time we streamed, we did Saga's section of the game, and boy, that took a long time. We did the uh, Valhalla Old Folks Nursing Home, and that was a huge section. I felt like, you know, aside from the boss battle, <laughs> performance-wise in the game, that was probably the worst stream, too, because the game was just messing up constantly. Uh, stuff wasn't loading correctly, frames were getting super choppy, um... Sometimes the models would render in and they were all A-posing. So there was uh, yeah, some not so great instances of shit happening during that stream. That wasn't fantastic. But um, yeah, that whole section just took a while. And that boss battle was a little bit rough, but even just that boss battle, Go to hell. not necessarily the longest thing. I mean, it couldn't have taken me more than 20 minutes, I don't think. So, otherwise it just would have been, uh, you know, just everything attributed to the length of that chapter in particular. <laughs> the reason the game is messing up, Alan Wake's writing, obviously. <laughs> he wrote all of those old people rendering in late and being stuck in uh, A poses. All part of the plan. I'm sure at this point, Saga would probably believe that. She seems to be very um, against Wake right this moment, uh, which is getting kind of annoying. Even during some of the like little side bits and stuff that I was doing, she'd have like little snide remarks. She's like, well, you know, Wake, thinking he's playing God here, would have no reservations about being an asshole or whatever. And it's like, lady... Calm yourself. You were in a similar position. I don't know. You had to find a way to get yourself out of the dark place and do some other shit too while trying to keep an evil force at bay. I'm sure you'd probably do some things you weren't too happy about. Anyway, there's this whole subplot that seems to be going on with I Wake. I needed to get inside the manuscript. Where Mr. Scratch is going after... Uh, Alice, so we need to try and find out what's going on here. I don't remember if any of this uh, was stuff we read last time. Hey, Alice, I'm more fish out of water in Hollywood than ever, and than I ever was in the Pacific Northwest wilderness. What is going on with that? That looks bad. 
Uh, these yuppies and their glow-in-the-dark teeth couldn't be more fake if they had six fingers. And everything's so fucking great all the time, even when it's, in fact, the opposite. More than once I've thrown up in my mouth during meetings with these movie exec jerks. But I gotta be here to look after AI's, or Al's, AI, Al's legacy. Everyone wants to gobble up the film rights for the Casey books, and they have moronic ideas of what to do with them. It's my duty to herd this horde of tanned zombies into the general direction of something resembling good taste. I'm painfully aware how deeply Al would have hated adaptations if they didn't do justice to his vision. He was a master of hating things deeply, for good reasons. I mean, that's why we loved him so much, right? Anyway, gotta hop on another video call now to talk about casting your pal, Barry. I don't think we read that before. Joined a cult. What? Hey, Alice. Uh, you're gonna think I've been replaced by an evil double, but I have joined a cult and I love it. Joking about it being a cult. Kind of. Blessed wellness retreat. Working on Al and Andersons was... Al... Wait, working with Al or the Andersons was tough sometimes, but these movie biz types are insane. My stress levels were through the roof, but then I was tipped off about the retreat. Best decision I ever made. I have never felt this good and, well, healthy. The guy who runs the place, Chester, is a goddamn miracle worker. Not a wacko in any way. I know you think I'm full of shit, but I have lost a ton of weight. You wouldn't recognize me. Chester says I'm lucky to have ended up here. That something bad would have happened to me if I stayed in New York. I believe him. I wasn't feeling great after everything that happened, especially after those FBC creepos wanted to chat with me. Enough to turn anyone into a conspiracy nut. Hope you're good over there. Come visit any time. West Coast is not as bad as I made it out in my early emails. Uh, your pal Barry. Checking in. Hey Alice, checking in because I haven't heard from you. Everything good back there? I've been trapped in non-stop meetings with no breaks. Open kimono. I have considered peeing in a mug. And lunches be damned. How these people ever get uh, ever get a movie made when all they do is sit in meetings is beyond me. Your pal Barry. I'll handle it. Hey Alice, shark circling. Now they want to turn what happened uh, to Al into a movie and or TV show. And or, get this, a fucking video game. <laughs> oh, wouldn't that be crazy? I told him to fuck off. Also, in case you hear about this from someone else, a true crime writer named Tammy Booker is working on a book about Al. I hunted her down. I hunted down her publisher and told them we'll sue. Don't worry. I've got you covered. Your pal Barry. Okay, I guess Barry just checking in on everything. Oh, actually, there's one more from four months ago. Hey, Alice, everything good with you back home? Just checking in. Tried to call, but couldn't reach you. You're probably just deep in your creative process. I know how artists get when you're in the middle of your projects. Everything else disappears. If you call back and can't reach me, I'm doing whatever it is an executive producer is supposed to do. Still a mystery to me. Oh, and if you want me to help with anything business-related to your exhibition, just say the word. Your pal, Barry. Um, Barry seems to be doing fairly well for himself. For months, after Alan died, I didn't leave the apartment. I was flattened by the confusion, the shock, the, the guilt, fear. I could barely get out of bed. Barry Wheeler started visiting. He even cooked me meals. I couldn't stand the guy when I first met him, but he's a better friend than I gave him credit for. And he still checks in. Even after he moved out west. Okay. As we learned with the uh, previous excursion up into the apartment here. She's been uh, setting up cameras because apparently Mr. Scratch visits her, so she takes uh, photos of him as he enters the apartment and uh, turns it into her art. Seems like there was something back here. A yeah, giant red light, but... Alice had turned the bathroom into a dark room. Can't interact with any of that? I mean, what else are you going to use a bathroom for, really? I wonder if 
there's a way to clean that up. I gotta say, okay, so they got this RTX business and whatever, and it's like, great, you can sort of make reflections. Sort of. It's good for, like, I, I when I saw it best used, um, you know, minor reflections and objects. Uh, not mirrors, but like, you know, maybe metallic surfaces on a, or a shiny surface on a cup or something like that. Or it looks great in outdoor environments when there's a little bit of water on the road or something like that. You get like kind of a muddy reflection. It looks absolutely awful when you do it with an actual mirror. And uh, I noticed that it had gotten turned off at some point. I don't think it got turned off like during the first stream. I think it was on by default. But uh, I think it got turned off sometime after that. And I was like, oh, okay, I guess they're just not doing reflections, despite the fact that they were advertising the, you know, ray tracing or whatever. But no, it just got turned off. Um, so I got it back on now, but it still looks bad. <laughs> and it's the ray tracing is all at high, too. Everything's at high. But it's just like in the mirror. I don't know. Maybe if the water was running or something like that, and it was real foggy in here, I guess that would work. But, um, yeah, not good in my opinion. If you're going to do a mirror, do double rendering. Make another map, have a mirrored character, follow the movements of whatever's going on in the main game, and just do it at that. You know, don't put too many mirrors everywhere, and you're good to go. This ray tracing business, ugh. It's not there yet, despite what people might say. Alice's work had consumed the apartment her whole life. Another video? Not yet. Part three, the search. Clarity is purpose. Uh, here's the other video. One morning, I saw a deer soar past my bedroom window. It was a, a balloon of some cartoon animal. And I looked out at the street below, and I saw a little girl crying. Like losing that balloon had just ended her whole world. It was the perfect image. The horror of caring. And that's when I got myself out of bed. And I picked up my camera. Okay. They got the good ending in RDR 2. Red Dead Redemption 2. What good ending was that? Was it the dying of, uh, <laughs> whatever? <laughs> what, what would Arthur get? Wasn't the lumbago. There was something in the dark. Something I needed to see, to show. The more shadows I photographed and filmed, the more I felt like I was on the verge of a breakthrough. I submerged myself in it. I only went out at night. <sighs> My search became obsessive, but I still had no idea what I was looking for. It was tuberculosis. That's what he died of. Greatest ending of all time. At least he got to see the sunrise. Oh my God. There's a world hidden behind ours. A dark tide ebbing and flowing against reality. Faces in the shadows. Fear of the dark is really just fear of what could be that, that vast paralyzing ocean. But photography can freeze reality in a snapshot put a cage around the infinite and capture it. I need to prove those faces are really there.
Get me in there. Let's see what's going on. Manuscript of a novel. Return. A horror story about the dark presence escaping from the dark place, taking over Bright Falls. I couldn't remember writing it. I had not written it. I would never write this. I knew who had. Scratch. A monster with my face. If this story came true, Scratch would get out, people would die. Destroying the manuscript, it wouldn't stop it from happening. I would have to fix it, edit it. I could not change the genre of the story. I'd have to work within the constraints set by Scratch. I needed someone in the story to fight the darkness. Saga Anderson. I kept seeing her in my visions. She was already in Bright Falls, already involved, but she was not in return. Not yet. I'd write her in, try to stop Scratch within the limits of the horror story. It was almost impossible. It was taking too long. I had not reached the end. before I could finish my edits to the manuscript. The memory back of to my it. edits was already fading. Terrible things would happen if the manuscript came true. Scratch was there, at Parliament Tower, undoing my work. He could use the story to escape. He could go after Alice. All right, that was a fairly short segment, so I think I'm going to do another one with Wake. Uh, I was normally like flip-flopping back and forth between them, but uh, since playing this, I've gone, not gone back, but I've I've thought about like the segments uh, that we've done, and it's like, Alan Wake is definitely taking a back seat in this game. Uh, Saga's bits and parts seem to be at the forefront. Now, Wake's got some great stuff, you know, I think... A lot of his segments still rival what goes on with Saga, but this game is almost not feeling like it's about him at some points. And uh, when we have segments like that, or the musical one that take, you know, 10, 20 minutes to do. Actually, there was another one in the apartment that was pretty damn short as well. It's like, well, Zane has said we worked on you know, it's not going to be that was a lie. quite his return. story to be told. I would pay Zane another visit. He had guided me to two murder sites. I needed a new one to get back to Parliament Tower. A new draft of initiation. Seven. I'm sure you wonder why they call it Alan Wake. Well, name value, I mean. But they could have easily called it something else. Could have called it Cauldron Lake, or they could have called it one of his stories, Initiation, Return, something like that. Would have played into it. Not like it would have made too much difference, I think, from a marketing standpoint. As big of a cult fan base, I think, as Alan Wake has, it's not... Unless they get garnered a lot of attention and you know, increased its name value with the remaster and everything like that. It's not like it has a whole lot of weight to it. I wouldn't think. 
you know, that might be different for maybe Xbox owners or, you know, obviously the cult fan base that it has or people that follow Remedy. But, I mean, honestly, they could have called it something else. <laughs> Didn't have to be Alan Wake 2. What you doing there? Look like a bum. Mr. Wake. I don't have time for this, so let's get it over with. Tell me, was this all fake? A show? No one said otherwise, Mr. Wake. It was to indulge you. We can stop pretending now. Uh, masks come off. Oh, I wouldn't go that far. I don't even think you know who's under your mask. But you know how to make things difficult for yourself. All these rules. Endless, convoluted loops you insist on going through. You are so lucky. You know. There are so many people helping you. Armies of people. Myself. Your wife. Alice. I need to get to her. She's in danger. She is. Because of you. And so is someone important to me, someone you pulled into this. You keep opening doors. Peeking in, reaching through to get what you want, and that puts you in my path. I don't know what you're talking about. I have to go now. Maybe you will make it through this time. This has gone on long enough. This and our night springs, it was a nice distraction. It's time someone gave me a straight answer here. Next time we meet, the circumstances will be very different. And you would do well to return the favor by playing your part. Or stay out of my way, Mr. Wig. So many of his mannerisms and inflections. I've said it before, but definitely. Whatever you say. It seems like they're going for a Lance Reddick type character. Door, Zane, the masks were finally coming off. Was it a sign I was closer to escaping? I had no time to waste. Escape the talk show studio. Well, I know how we got out before. Actually, let me take a look at the maps. Anything changed here? I remember taking a step in here before and seeing if there was a... Uh... Changed. See if there was anything worth picking up. Force it open. they start like moving towards you because sometimes some of them will move but if they've got like a path that they follow a track on basically then they're still not going to do anything to you they might shove you out of the way but here is the light at the end of the tunnel if you come in last you won't be happy oh my lord that held you close tom hey what on what set the cranny in the snow when the panic is biggest, the help is also near. 
Good thing we have subtitles. The Lord didn't seem happy to see me this time. Hearing the master is the root of wisdom. But don't let the game get you down. He's playing his role. Maybe put him in your films, Tom. Like you have put me. <laughs> what films? <laughs> I'm a fan of your masterworks. Uh, there is Tom the Poet, my favorite, and Uerden Uer is the most famous one, of course. And is it true what I hear? That it's coming back to cinema soon? Is there a bottom to this rumor? I need uh, to get true. back to my apartment. Can you help me? Well, plan is half done. You asked me to make sure you won't forget the... the... Mikä se valokuva oli? The light pictures. The photos you artist wife took. Uh, they are waiting in the shoe box in the basement. What you leave behind, you find in front of you. Okay. Thanks, Adi. Find the shoebox in the basement, I guess, before we can leave. Basement's down this way, right? I said it at the first, like, part. I don't know if I said it, like, right after, as soon as it happened, but maybe, like, the stream after the fact. But, you know, the first thing Wake says when he pops up from the lake, he's like, Oh, no, it got out. The darkness got out, and it's, it has my face. And that had me suspicious. I'm like, oh, all right. I think uh, maybe the dark presence or whatever probably got out and wake isn't who we think he is at least in the real world um there was a manuscript that i found with saga and unfortunately you can't access them right now but um the manuscript had mentioned that uh, uh i forget who specifically was talking about it. i was talking about a character oh it was the one it was uh, zane's wife i think which I guess was in the first game. I couldn't even remember it, but, you know, she had come out of the, the Lake Evil, essentially. And then it just boiled it all down to, at the end of that manuscript, that the wake that had come out of the lake must be evil, too. And I'm like, you know what? That kind of solidifies that theory. But so far, it does seem to be pointing all into that direction. I don't think, um, I don't think Wake has actually gotten out. Um, Saga was asking the question when she had a face-to-face -face with him. Uh, in the overlap, she's like, this must be from the past. It probably isn't. Wake is still probably in the dark place. And what's on the outside is the dark presence, but it's like kind of wrapped up in this Alan Wake package that it hasn't quite broken free from yet, maybe. So, uh, I'm not going to lie, weirdest re recreation of a face ever. The janitor, Adi. Maybe. He looks like one of the Bogdanov brothers. Huh. Oh. Face off. Okay. The movie. <laughs> Behind the mask. Are we just like skipping around these parts so damn quickly? Yeah, I've seen Face Off. It's uh, very meme worthy, but I think at this point everybody's seen it so often. I've not gotten back, gone back and watched it. To get to Parliament Tower, I needed to find a murder site. Zane would know where to find one. We can go back to the hotel. I wonder if. Mm -hmm. I don't know if we can the elevator, though. Inside this messy maze of blood trails I was chasing the cult through, I ran into the filmmaker, Thomas Zane, an esoteric bohemian with a hard on for acts of cruelty performed in the name of occult nonsense. A director wants to control every aspect of the world in their films. Is a cult leader any different? 
Was Zane just another alias for Scratch? There was a rumor that Wake and Zane had been working on something together. I was going to get the truth out of Zane with whatever means necessary. Wake. The whole Zane bit has been somewhat confusing to me. At first, it, they weren't even referring to him like at all, and I'm like, well, the, he seemed like such a big part of the first game. I was like, well, couldn't remember his name, because I couldn't remember most of what happened in the first game, unfortunately. Uh, I almost feel like I probably should have played it again as a bit of a refresher, but so far we've been doing all right. But it was like, there was that writer. I'm like, what happened to that guy? He seemed like he's such a big deal in trying to find him. Uh, and we finally get to him, and then, you know, they change his character around instead of being a writer. He's a filmmaker, and he's super eccentric, and, you know, there's all this weird <laughs> shit going on. Um, Zane's room, 665, was upstairs. The elevator would take me there. And now it's like they're trying to seem like we're steering the character into an antagonist kind of role. Sort of. I mean, he's helped Wake in some points. You know, obviously finding these murder spots and such, but uh, everything else, like surrounding it, makes him, paints him as like this almost sort of evil figure. Something told me Zane wouldn't be happy to see me this time. Boy, another movie. I'm in control now. The second you try anything, I will shoot you in the head. Scratch wrote return, not me. You're a fucking liar! You've given up. You stopped writing. You said it was too dangerous, that, that we didn't deserve to get out. And then he showed up. Scratch. He promised to write. To get me the hell out of here. He was magnificent. A visionary. Finished. It took return and left me behind. It's still here, and so is he. I know I fucked up. But you can still catch him before he gets out, before he gets to your wife. And when you get to him, don't hesitate. Kill the bastard for what he did to us. There's a murder site. In my cinema, where my film Nightless Night is playing. Oh my god, how the tables have turned. Okay. Well, I guess that's the end of Zane. I told you not to try anything! Nothing else. There, okay. Oh mercy. Thousands have gone missing beyond the labyrinth of me. When you're lost, you're lost in your own company. And cut. <sighs> oh. Now that is drama. <laughs> what the fuck? I had a million questions about Zane, but I had more pressing concerns. Zane's film, Initiation 8. See, we're just flying through these segments. The movie theater poet cinema. The next murder site was there. Zane had created the film in tandem with Return. 
to escape the dark place. Hasn't even been an hour yet and we've cleared out three of them. Um, yeah, I don't know. This is, I think the character potentially inconsistency is what's getting me the most. What I probably don't like about it the most. Uh, cause I don't know. They treated him in such high regard and, you know, he's just like this other writer that had gotten lost like Alan did. And, you know, he was the key to solving the mystery. I could see the searchlight beams of the movie theater on the far side of the plaza. And now he's some crazy foreign filmmaker. Let's see, we still haven't even done really anything. <laughs> We've seen a lot of cutscenes, but we haven't like fought any battles or anything, so got all the same supplies I had when we started. in the air into non-existence. Anything over here? This area wasn't accessible last time. It was blocked out by the darkness. It was locked from the other side. Looks like there's a container I could potentially open over here. We just see what we got cooking. Oh, I might be on the other side of the fence, actually. Looks like it's linked by this truck. Almost, not quite. Nothing down there. some of these guys. spent some upgrade capabilities on uh, increasing the amount of health that gets healed when we step under a light. Just don't know if there's going to be anything nearby. Be Maybe the ticket could still get me in. Yes, that's why we got it, isn't it? Please enjoy the film, sir. 
Thanks. The cinema lobby was a gateway to other realities on the silver screen. I could set a scene here. writing at some point I can't stop there's too much at stake I don't know we've been seeing all the text around don't write might be something to it but at the same time it's like what else are you gonna do here join the musical troupe again back in the theater Ah, it's on the second level. Actually, is there anything in the far back here? A map. It's always good. school theater that might have been converted into a movie theater. Because why would a movie theater need a dressing room? Is that Nazarenos? Lifetime or more. The only case I'd ever been on. They would surface from the dark with their depraved acts of violence and fade back into the night, leaving behind bloody crime scenes and clues heavy with obscure meanings that led nowhere. Arriving at the cinema, I felt a monumental, terrifying revelation trembling before me. Ready to open its jaws and swallow me whole. This place had significance to the cult. There was something to use there. <laughs> All these Casey films. All these pain films. I wonder if there'd ever be a point where they would, uh surrender the rock star that is surrender the ip back over just drop the ip and let it be reacquired back over to remedy I was missing something I'm trying to think of when that game came out i think max Payne 3 came out like uh, 2012 or something 13 maybe it's still been a while it's been close to a decade if not more but like what's even the point of hanging on to it for so long I think part of the problem is, though, is if they plan on doing anything to develop it in-house, Rockstar takes forever. Just especially when it comes to their open world stuff. I mean, they're still polishing up GTA 6. Is that what they're on? Yeah. Um, and it's like, how long do these games take for them to develop? It feels like five, six years almost. I wonder if I should put anything away. Maybe I don't need the... I'll keep the flares with me, but... Maybe the pain meds, not so much. But right 
Red Dead Redemption 2, absolutely huge. Grand Theft Auto, probably not going to be any different. It would be nice if they went back to doing some smaller scale games, though. Not everything needs to be open world and have these big, broad, expansive single player campaigns. Just make something decent, shorter experience. I needed a new draft of the story, one that would get me. I know, I know. Just wanted to make sure I got everything before we start changing shit up. You die here. <clears throat> Friendly words. God damn it, another first aid kit? Holy shit. Oh, these are always nice. They're still giving me first aid kits. I don't like the first aid kits. Once you get start getting the uh, upgrades that make the trauma patches better, it's like first aid kits kind of become redundant. If you're losing a lot of health, obviously, yeah, you could recoup most of it with the first aid kit, but at the same time, it's like it takes so long to apply. You need to be in a situation where you've got a few seconds, and usually in the heat of the moment, that time doesn't come if I was in that rough a situation I'd probably just walk my way over to a save point or something uh. what could that be pointing to what the hell's going on here uh, he's a word of power Word of fix. I don't remember what these do. What are these? Uh, increases max amount of health restored by safe havens. 56%. That's not bad. Or it could increase maximum health. I get the feeling like we're starting to run dry on the word of power though. So probably not going to do the restore health from those things. 50% isn't bad. Doesn't need to be 100%. Uh, maybe we'll start increasing the maximum amount of health a little bit. Anyway, there's two arrows pointing in two separate directions. Does that mean that we got a second word of power lingering around here somewhere? What the hell? Maybe it's just pointing back. Maybe I'm supposed to see it here. And then they think I'm going to see this one. I'm like, oh, back that way, I guess. cinder block prop door I'm missing something here what's going on oh, apparently there's a word of power um, I guess that's that floor where I found the case Increased damage dealt to enemies in close proximity makes island 35% harder to spot and decreases damage received from darkness projectiles by 25% or 50%. I don't see a whole lot of that flying around, though they are annoying, I will say that much, so that is tempting, but uh, maybe the detection one, especially when they all start popping up all over the place, it's a little bit annoying. slink by them as best I can. Someone had barricaded themselves in the room. How would they do such a thing? Why 
haven't seen anything else. Am I able to... I needed a new draft of the story. One that would get me ahead. So let's try this. How far can I go in? I needed a new draft of the story. One that would get me... was an initiation ceremony, and so we made our new members believe. Two of New York's finest, they had performed endless favors to earn their place among us. We had something special waiting for them, and something very special for you, Alex Casey. Who's your leader? Alan Wake? Hmm? Scratch? Zane? Give me a name! <laughs> You will meet him soon enough. There was no end to the corruption. It fit the genre, so I'd use it. All right. You know, I've been thinking about the Koskala brothers, too. It's like I can't really see them as being cult leaders, either. I half expect the issue to be with them. Like, either potentially some sort of misguided attempt at protecting the town, like the cult is relatively fake. It wouldn't explain exactly why they killed um, Nightingale at the beginning of the game, but maybe there's either some uppity members that did that ahead of their orders, or maybe he was just taken doing it, I'm not too sure, but uh, I can almost see it either being something like that, like they were just trying to create the presence of the cult, to make people believe, to keep everybody safe and not go into the, draft of the story. forest. One that would get me ahead of scratch. Where the uh, dark presence is already kind of taking hold of everything outside of their own will. Or, um, it's either that or they're doing it as like some sort of subversion, like they're pretending they work under scratch in order to try and you know get close to him or something because when um oh the theater's open when we saw him trying to kill wake now if the theory does prove correct and wake is actually scratch in the real world then ilmo was right in trying to kill him right then and there when he was getting pulled away by the uh, fbc he was like no wait you don't understand so, you know, maybe they were doing all these acts in order to try and get close to the true dark presence and trying to off it when they had the chance, but they just didn't get the time to execute it properly. But it's either that or some sort of misguided attempt to save the city would be my theory. We'll find out, though. Closer to the stage. I just hear some words that sound like they're being looped. Oh, there it is. That's the white one, though. Oh, it is on the stage. All right.
bottom of the urban legends circling Thomas Zane were a bottomless rabbit hole. I'd done some digging. To film freaks, he was a mythic auteur in the art house cinema, a rising star coming to America from Finland. But he only created one film, Tom the Poet, before he went missing, mirroring the vanishing of the main character in the movie, played by himself. The biggest mystery was around his lost film, an early work made in Finland, Nightless Night, rumored to have mystic properties. Some claimed it was a snuff film, that the ritual murder in the film was an actual murder. There were no known surviving copies, but the cult chased it as if it were their unholy grail, just like Wake's books were. There's still some parallels, but I still like him better as a writer than a filmmaker. The main event was the murder. I had to find my way to it. Just sitting in the seats, huh? Movie gonna start. Master into La greets you, following your master into La La Land. A sad bunch of clowns in funny masks and hoods, pretending to be a secret society. Well, maybe it is you who's playing a role, Mr. Casey. A role carefully laid out for you. A puppet blindly performing the ritual steps for the glory of the cult. Huh? What the fuck have you been smoking? Nightless night. A clip of the lost film survived. You will see, Mr. Casey. In the nightless night, you will finally see. Nightless night was Zane's film. It played a role in this story. To do, but the light of the lamp shone out of the screen and revealed the door. <laughs> That's not a seat, buddy. I was back out into the night. The seedy alley away from prying eyes was a good scene for dark deeds.
but not so much in here. Flare though. What's the map looking like? Some stuff in the back lot, perhaps. Oh, there is a container in there. Totally missed it. Two of them, two file cabinets. Bullets are always nice. Alright, looks like we got another plot point somewhere back here. Should take a look for that. And then there's also a... It's not a cache per se. I forget what they are. But like a supply case? How far out is that? It's either like here in the garage or it's on the other side of this. here first and then I'll switch the scene around. Was that? Okay, now it's in the back lot somewhere. Maybe it won't appear until we switch the scene. I didn't see it back here though. I don't think I see it. No. area. out on a plot board. Yeah, I think it might be up top there. I don't think anything changed up here. Alright. making progress. I had to keep going. Okay. 
You're finicky with me now. this initiation, do you? Nah. I'm sure we'll just chant some ceremonial stuff. N nothing to it. Well, it's about time. We paid our dues. Made plenty of their problems disappear. Dumped all those nobodies down that chute. What we did or didn't do, it's all behind us now. We're going straight to the top, partner. Yep, like we died and went to heaven. City trapped in eternal night, they watch the film where the night never arrives, where the night hides in your mind. Okay, how does that help me? Doesn't look like there's been anything significant that's changed in this particular version either. I was looking for a way to potentially get up here, but I never saw anything. No ladders or stairs Something seems to have manifested in that regard. Easy to climb up on top of this truck, but I uh, guess he didn't feel like doing that. Is that it then? Have we tried all of them? scene we saw play out that fully registered and everything The dirty cops looked down at the city, their city. They had committed repulsive deeds to get there. They told themselves it was worth it. It's just some other graffiti. Where is this one then? It's like that arrow doesn't seem to point to anything. Oh, there it is. 
Ooh, it's a tight spot. Words of stuff. Oh, this one. Nice. Yeah, definitely want that inventory. I mean, the map has, the points of interest on the map has been super helpful. So I, it's probably better off that I did that one first, but um, yeah, we've been really hurting for some inventory space. Let me see if I can find the echo first. We'll come back for him in a second. What's all this too? What is this? Oh, maybe this is a back way in there. Yeah, I think that's what it is. Hey, Alan. It's good to see another sane face. Not sure how sane I'm feeling. Be careful out there, Tim. If you see me, Make sure it's really me, not some psycho wearing my face. Sounds like you've been having a rough go. I've been there. The missing time. The aliens. Aliens? I don't think I've gotten that yet, but all right. Wait. What's this about aliens? Oh, uh, I was just convinced that everything going on with me was because of aliens. Abductions, signals beamed into my head, that kind of thing. Now I know it's been door all along. I haven't ruled out him being an alien, though. Missing time. It's the same thing I've been saying. The dreams. It's sometimes I wake up in a completely different place missing entire days. I have no idea what happened, but I'm trying to find out. Things always get better if you just keep moving forward, Alan. I like their interactions. There's a couple that happened off stream while I was kind of exploring as wake on my own time. Put that bag of chips in there, sure. <laughs> But, um, they're starting to, like, build a little rapport off each other. Like, uh, I walked in one time and Breaker was like, how's the memory, Alan? And Wake was just like, uh, who are you again? He's like, oh, you got me, son of a bitch. Also, this board is, like, really filled out now. UFOs, polyhedrons, I see them in my dreams. Door went missing in 1988. Age has not aged. Longevity, not human. Alien, magic. Uncle Frank would have known more, but he's dead. Not his real name. Hidden meaning? Redheaded woman, connected door, I know her. Where do I know her from? Her identity changes. Connected to the polyhedrons. She will come for me. What is this place? Not a dream. I think we went over that one. I think we went over the facts ones. <clears throat> Let's see. Geometry. Pure mathematical shapes contain energy. A vessel, a weapon, an object of great power. Or are you crazy and have dreams of RPG dice? <laughs> I did say you played D&D. &D. Um, I'm thinking this is all connected to Control, the video game. Uh, maybe if I boot that up at some point, some of this will be a little clearer. But the, uh, the gun that she uses... I seem to remember them talking about something about the shape of it and how it contained a particular power or something like that, but, um, I don't know. Don't know for sure. Seriously consider playing it, streaming it after this, though. Uh, this has all been somewhat fascinating, and, uh, if control is even near the same level, I might want to give it a try. Save room. 
don't need two of these. I'm starting to fill out the inventory too. Um, I almost completely filled out the inventory on Saga's end. Actually, no, I have filled it out completely a couple times. And it's, yeah, it's starting to, starting to get a little crowded. I mean, it's good that I have enough supplies now, but feeling like I start a, should have start using more of them. But you know me, I'm a bit of a pack rat when it comes to video game supplies. It usually ends up paying off. Okay, I can't actually get down to that point, so let's change it here. I don't remember specifically what it was. It wasn't the default one, was it? No. It was Cult. I feel like that's the first one I did. me, Mr. Casey. I'm all yours. Go ahead. Ask that burning question in your mind. How How'd you do it, Ilmo? Do it. How did you get me into that film clip without my remembering it? Talk to me, damn it! You've seen the film? Good, good. Now you're ready to meet the Grand Master. He's waiting for you in the projection booth where everything will be revealed. Where he will project a new reality onto this one. <sighs> and now, Mr. Casey, I've played my part to the end. No, no, no! Crazy bastard! Why did he jump? The projection booth. Was that where I'd find the murder site? Let's change it here and see what happens. It just became cold and dark. Can I jump too? No? I'm wondering a fall from that height. I guess if you aimed your head straight down, it'd probably die, but falling on your back like that, it would hurt. It'd probably break something, but I don't know if it'd kill you. We gotta change it back. Or at least take it off. Let's see if the default will give us the door. No. Uh, I think it was New York's finest, maybe? If we could get back in there from here, Let's see if one of these things changes up. Because uh, I seem to remember there being something at the bottom of one of these. Go down here without actually needing to. 
Son of a bitch. Okay, um... I mean, there's... There's always been this door, which seems to get back into the theater, but... I mean, I am going to assume that it's still locked. It's also got the thing on there, so that would seem to match up with it. Oh, boy. Uh, it's open now. Let's just close that. Okay. To get to the projection booth. Well, let's see. Let's see if changing any of this does anything. I don't think there's actually a door up here. You'd think there would be, but I don't think there is. Oh, there is a door. It's just always blocked. Or has a curtain in front of it. Throw shit at me. Literally throwing shade. Step into the screen. I found myself in a maze of film equipment. Oh, I was hoping they'd show it. There had to be a way to the projection booth from here. I wasn't alone. back where I started. A loop within a loop. I had to keep going. Within a loop, within a loop. I'm here, you son of a bitch. Show yourself. Who, who was that? Who said that? The grand master of my ass. You're a clown. I'm not the one wearing a mask here, you moron. <laughs> Guess he doesn't the recognize his own voice. Was losing it. I wasn't far behind. I was back at the beginning again. I had to keep going, find a way to the murder site. 
I'm here, you son of a bitch. Hey! Show yourself! Who, who was that? Who said that? It's That's going. a real oh. clever trick, I asshole. Saw someone. You can run, but you can't hide. Yeah, it was Casey in a mask. My ass. You're a clown in a mask. I'm not the one wearing a mask here, you moron. Why don't you come here and say that to my face, buddy? Then we'll see who's the moron. <laughs> Right initiation. I was back at the beginning again. I had to keep going. Find a way to the murder site. I'm here, you son of a bitch. Show yourself. Shut up. Shut up. Shut the fuck up. You can run, but I'll get you. I'll get all you. Casey? Fuckers. Who's there? <laughs> Look, you got the wrong guy. I, I'm not Alex Casey. I only play him in the movies. That's Sam He's Lake. Just a fictional character. What, what? What's going on here? You don't have to kill me. You don't have to go get that knife and stab me. You can just give up and go back. Forget about the ritual sacrifice to open the way forward. Is that something very specific there? Sacrifice to open the way. Oh no. Oh no you don't. You'll be sorry. Looking for another way, Fuck. Sam. I really am. any sense is in your psychotic brain as a fictional character in the story you fulfilled your purpose you brought the writer of the story here you can go now Casey no, no, no I'm not going anywhere before I get some answers how was I in that movie how, why does all this feel so familiar what who the fuck are you who the fuck am I no Welcome to you, Alan Wake. Oh, hello. Well, this is the ritual to lead you on. We are just one step away from your final destination, Mr. Wake. But first, here is an unanswered mystery for you. If Casey was fictional, and you assumed his role as the detective, are you now fictional too? No Whose story are you living, Mr. Wake? The visions were getting under my skin, coming too close for comfort. Not a separate layer, but mingling with my own reality in the dark place. Ugh. Wait. Dead end. This can't be right. Did I miss so something? Sure. Game 
games always do this, but I always get a tickle out of uh, changing the game map around you while you're actively moving seamlessly. You know, I'm just turning around. But the mask was the key. You know, there's no super trickery outside of just having you turn the camera, but this is how I could help her. Still a cool effect. Saga Anderson, listen. I, I've been tricked. Scratch wrote returned. I, I tried to fix the story, but he stopped me before I reached the end. He has it now. It's the key to escape. What do you mean, escape? He could with Scratch. I need to stop him. I need to stop him before he gets out. He's after Alice. I'm still trapped, but I'm making progress. I wrote you in to be the story's hero. Scratch made a horror story. I need to match the genre. It has to be dark, but the hero can break through, save her family, save us all. Save her family? Are you talking about my family? Yes, whatever you're doing, it's working. You just need to keep going. Did we have in the horror story? I can't remember if we'd seen Saga's end of that. Closer than ever before, but there was no time to lose. Everything was hanging in the balance. I could still lose it all. Parliament Tower. I had to make it work this time. I could stop Scratch, get the manuscript, fix its ending. Have a cool visual. So it reminds me of the end of uh, Tarantino's *Inglorious Bastards*. All the film all piled up behind the theater screen. Uh, is there anything else we need in here? Anything we can grab, nab, do something with? Apparently, something to investigate. I was this. traveling deeper into the dark place. The poem on the wall was growing at the same pace, dogging my footsteps like my unwanted shadow moving in the corner of my eye. It wasn't my writing. I didn't know what it was. A terrible prophecy. A curse. Looming over me. Zane was a poet, apparently, so maybe it's him. Uh, we had seen something similar to this, I think, at the murder site. I mean, it maybe it popped up in a couple other places, I forget, but... Uh, the recreation of Nightingale's murder site that was in the underground tunnels. A uh, pale balloon in the sky, float and sink deeper, night springs when bright falls. For this sleeper, the surface disturbed, the reflection now a traitor, and the cavity of the skull turned to a crater. This is the ritual to lead you on, your friends will meet him when you are gone.
We've seen a few doors like that. I remember seeing one in the hotel. I think there's one at the Valhalla nursing home. Can't get them open, though. But there's doors that have a weird little spiral symbol over it. Of this there is. <laughs> I don't know if we should watch it. Look, Dear Man has friends. Most of the dark lighting works, I think, but uh, <laughs> that weird car driving scene with the green screen probably not so great. The more you look at him, the more you can't see Max Payne. Well, that's kind of the point. Um, this Alex, I mean, it's Sam Lake, obviously, which Sam Lake provided the face for the original Max Payne. But Alex Casey is essentially a stand in for Max Payne. They don't have the rights to Max Payne anymore. Rockstar does. Um, but. I mean, they made this Alex Casey character who's basically Max Payne. He's Max Payne in every single way except for name, essentially. Oh, 
like I said, when they first popped up, I bet you if they still had the rights to Max Payne, this probably would have been him. Can we like sit down? Can we take a seat? Miksi palasit? Kun kerran lähdit? En aikonut. Mutta nyt löydän itseni täältä. Nyt on kai kirottu. Kirjoitettu sadistisen kirjailijan tarina. Kierrän kehää. Maa on syklinen laulu. Miten siellä valtion kontrollivirastossa menee? Väärä virasto. En ole siellä töissä. Sitä paitsi, sain potkut. Ei olisi tarvetta talonmiehen apulaiselle. Ei ole. Tämän tilan isäntä katosi yön selkää vuosia sitten. Sen jälkeen kun sinä lähdit. Merkit on ilmassa, että multakin loppuu hommat pian. Siksi kyselen virastosta. Ehkä saan sieltä töitä. It's like super easy to do or anything. <laughs> That's how I want to drink my coffee. I kind of feel like they probably should have gotten a better looking girl, but. Well, yeah. Mille you want Oh, that sound that sounded like a bad sci-fi stock sound from the 90s. Fascinated by this, but I don't know how pertinent it is to the rest of the game. Sanotaan, että Alleen kurkotti liian pitkälle yön syövereihin. Eikä löytänyt sieltä enää pois. Kannattaa varoa sitä alleen mustaa leskeä. 
Taisit olla vähän heikkona häneen. Pelkäsin häntä. Me pojat oltiin aina vähän toivottomia naisten kanssa. Oh lord. <laughs> They're pretty much naked. No towels. Max Payne has a bad trip. Max Payne experiences Max Payne. Doesn't not use a digital film projector in forever. En kierrä kehää. Tämä on spiraali. Oh. But hearing the um, film projector with the actual film reels in the background is so nostalgic. Lopu. Is that it?
I don't have a, uh, I don't have a clapping sound effect. <laughs> well, that was interesting. I, I wonder if there's parallels to uh, Wake, maybe, or Mr. Scratch. Because last we saw Casey, I think he was being carried off by the cult. Um, so they might actually be taking him to be, like, sacrificed or whatever. But, of course, the uh, FBC has Wake... Or possibly scratch in uh, their possession, so. Lord, I've been playing this game for 22 hours. Not necessarily on stream, but two of those hours was spent watching that uh, <laughs> that movie. Where's the black one? Oh, here it is. There wasn't enough alcohol in this city to drown the memories of this nightmare, but I'd damn well try. This case would never be closed. I had more questions now than at the start. The irony of being trapped in a postmodern detective story. I felt watched. The eyes of some unseen audience on me. That was me. I wanted to turn to the hidden camera and tell them to fuck off. But I didn't know where to look to break the fourth wall. There would always be another case for Casey. A million stories in this dark city. The night opened up to welcome me. I walked into her arms. Roll credits. At this point, I'm kind of wondering why Remedy just doesn't, like, make a movie. <laughs> but I don't think they want to. I think that's kind of the point. I think they're pretty hell-bent on trying to do this thing where they blend film and uh, video games into one. But, I mean, they should. Spend the money on a movie. And yeah, some heavy downpour. Uh, is there anything out here that we could potentially get? Looks like there's possibly a word of power down the alley. So I feel like I hear an echo somewhere. Was I looking in the complete wrong spot? Maybe I was. It's obviously not a section we can get into there. No, it's still showing like there's something down there. Let me just take a sec to look. Can't really squeeze in anywhere. at this point where it would probably be handy to increase their effectiveness. Anything else out here? It seems like the map only registers the good stuff once we walk out a little bit.
does kind of seem like there are some echoes. Usually I tend to find the echoes point towards... There it is. See that right there? So there's going to be a black one somewhere. But they point towards the uh, billboards, the movie billboards. I was going to say it must be on top because if that is the case, it points towards the billboard. It's going to be at level with that. God made us in his image. <laughs> Just like us, he is an uncaring, cruel son of a bitch. Having made it in heaven, he doesn't want us there, dirtying up all that nice white upholstery. And he doesn't want to reach down to help us. He gets his kicks just binge-watching us struggling, hurting, killing, dying. Screwing it up again and again. Lazily stirring it up when things threaten to get too placid. This city is only here to satisfy his sick, voyeuristic pleasure. Is there another one in that area? Yeah, it looks like there is. Like, get it from the ground level on that one, though. Because there doesn't seem to be any other spot that we could get to from this point up here. Unless there's another roof access. Also looks like there might be something down that area in that alleyway too. So I'm going to have to probably check that out. I hear it. Where are you? Where's the white one? Where's the black one? points to though. I don't think it's that billboard there because that one seems a little generic. Art house. Something kept me going. A broken man. No hope, no prospects, no love. Too stubborn to die, like a cockroach with a misguided sense of honor and justice in a city where there can never be justice. Simple enough. down here. God damn. All these dead ends. I don't think there's a way we could get in there from that point. That's like a break the windows, but I've tried to do that before with something else and it doesn't work.
I couldn't get in. I was missing something. Missing something, but I don't know what. It's like a dark presence sort of enveloping that area, but the only other place I could see to actually access that is that little alleyway back there, and I don't think that's something we can do. There's a little window up top, but unless I could throw something through there. We don't really have any you know, destructive grenades. I got a couple flashbangs, but that's it. Um. Alright, I'm just gonna say screw it. Probably not super important anyway, but picking up supplies is always nice. Oh, you know what? That's actually a shortcut. Since we already cleared the way of enemies down here, I might as well go do that, just in case I do decide to backtrack here eventually, try to figure out how to get onto that side. That way I could circumvent any battles, potentially, unless you actually do need to do something over there. There we go. Everybody's still restless over here. Seems like. Even though we haven't spent a proportionate amount of time as we did with Saga's section of the story, we'll go ahead and switch over to her and see what we can do. Because as far as things that uh, I could potentially do with Saga's side, uh, I've wrapped it up. Like I said at the beginning of the stream, I've picked up every collectible that I could get. I've done all the KC lunchboxes. I've done all the nursery rhymes. done all of the cult stashes, save for one, but I think I might know where it is. And uh, it's where we need to go next. It's actually in the police station. Oh, I did all the deers too, and it said um, in her mind palace that we needed to go visit the uh, twin in the real world or something. Let me see if it says it again. Also, doing all the nursery rhymes, uh, we've got in contact with the FBC agent that was creating them and he's like ooh you're you've done it now you're gonna go into the dark world or whatever and then the dark world like took him so but we never actually got to see that it just happened audibly over the radio uh, it didn't look like it but you know we saw it before if you pet that deer inside the um inside the mind palace it tells you you know like four left five left however many you have left in the world to pet but last time i touched it it said uh we had hit zero and it said go see my twin in the real world or something so this would be it but i don't see anything here Because you look in the uh, Mind Palace, it's the exact same setup. Well, it said it would lead the way. Last time there was a big hubbub and everything, and Colt ended up smashing through here, but um, I think we could still interact with the deer head. A 
don't see any like blood trails or anything. Or any sort of hint as to what it might be leading me to. If this is even it, I would assume so though, because it said pretty much exactly that. I don't think there's a, uh, another room that looks quite like that, so... <laughs> Alright. Oh, hey, last time I was walking down this hallway, there was this lady, like, trying to bang on one of these doors. I think it was that one. Oh, and this door was locked. Maybe this is what opened up. Looks like a oh yeah, look at all these deer heads. Ish. It's kinda gross. I would not want to stay in this room. This has to be it. This must this has to be what unlocked. It's like a hunter's room or something like that. Ass load of supplies. Alright, alright, cool. I'm thinking this must have been it. Nothing in that one. Bathroom too good for me. All right, well, I don't need to keep all of those, so. I'll put some of them away. But see, I'm like almost out of room in here. I got two more spots left. We might be delving into something big uh, if we go after Wake, though, so might not be a bad idea to keep some supplies like this stuff with me. Okay. So last time we left off with Saga, we did the whole um, retirement home thing, the nursing center. So that's all been taken care of. Got a little bit of insight into Saga's powers. She's related to Tor and Odin. And uh, they call her a seer, all that kind of stuff. But before that, before all that happened, uh, Wake got detained by the FBC. And he's being kept at the Sheriff's Department up here. And then Casey, I think he was taken off with the cultists I think I don't know but he ended up disappearing and the FPC didn't seem to be too keen on trying to help him but uh, right now we're going to go see Wake um, Saga's determined to get the clicker to him to change the story so that her daughter's no longer involved I need to find my way back you don't have to look that far I've seen how far it could go in this area. According to the map, it maps out a chunk of this place up here, but I guess you can't walk over to it. Scratch. Power's out. Turn six. Always a good sign. Find Wake. There's Taken inside. How do you know? I know one of you is stealing the toilet paper. I've been counting them and there's an entire roll missing every day from stock. Theft is taken seriously around here. It's a sheriff's station for Pete's sake. One of these days, I'm going to catch you red-handed and you better believe you're getting thrown out. What a disgrace you are. What kind of nut counts toilet paper rolls? Sounds like you've got too much time on your hands. Need the key. I remember there being a fairly big news story about some woman stealing a bunch of office supplies, but she had... Holding it, cells. It was that she had uh, stolen so much of them. Door is locked, though. Like, she was strictly stealing office supplies, and it was, like, toiletries, like toilet paper and, you know, supp actual supplies, like... Anyone here? 
pens and papers and stuff. In the closet. But she had stolen so much that it almost, I think, was close to like half a million. Agent Estevez? <laughs> Is that you? Anderson? Didn't I tell you to fuck off? Looks like it's a good thing I didn't. Looks like. <laughs> My leg's busted, so I'm gonna need your help. Listen, there is a person out there with you invaded by something that we call the shadow, and if you a don't- taken. Yeah, I'll handle it. Guess you just shut up then, all right. I didn't really give myself an opportunity to explore in here. Pretty much went right to the morgue and that was it. Don't want to mess around with those big guys. Oh, sorry, deputy. Hopefully you were dead by the time I threw that propane tank in here. Be a lot of supplies. <laughs> it would. I you have to imagine like how many just bulk quantity wise she must have been selling them. Can't imagine she was stockpiling the stuff, but you know, to rack up hundreds of thousands of dollars clear, off Estevez. supplies. Several tons worth. Uh, do we? We never got the key, I don't think, to the org or anything. Those are all caches. That leg doesn't look good. <sighs> Feels even worse. But thanks for saving the rest of me. We should talk. Where is Wake? I know what's going on here. Wake can fix this. Alan Wake is a para-utilitarian. The word's a mouthful, so you know it's serious. We have him locked up in the holding cells per protocol. He's connected to the Shadow in some way. Estevez, I need to see Wake. How do I get into the cell block? Okay. <laughs> Protocols don't mean that much at this point anyway. Don't make me regret this, Anderson. Until the power's back on, the door to the holding cells won't open. There's a fuse box downstairs in the basement. Here. You'll need these keys. <laughs> back into this the flashlight moment, in your huh? face. Fantastic. Have you found my partner, Agent Casey? Yeah, we found him. Out in the woods. He had a close encounter with the Shadow, and it did something to him. Is he okay? He's alive. We took him down to the morgue for an examination. Haven't heard anything since the attack. What happened here? <laughs> Where to fucking start? Uh, we came to check out a system alert at Cauldron Lake, but it's worse than we could handle. Real boondoggle. The police, my own agents, most were invaded before we could even react. What did the FBC come here to do? Bright Falls is the site of a recurring altered world event. The shadow is stronger than we expected. Uh, altered world Low event, I thought it was an Alan Wake event. <laughs> problems at HQ. But we do have equipment for dealing with the shaded threat. We were just caught off guard before we could set it up. Okay. Seems to be the end of the dialogue options. So let's go see what's happening in the morgue. Do you read me, Anderson? I read you. Have you had our frequency this entire time? Eavesdropping is a big part of the job. But no, I got it from your partner. Anderson, look for a fuse to replace the blown out one in the fuse box. That should get the power going again. Yeah, on it. It's supposed to be a safe room, but obviously it's not quite so safe when the power's out. Helmets save lives, yes they do. Stay 
the fuck? Casey! Is that you? Anderson? Hold your fire! I'm coming in. Give me a sec first. Okay, I'm half wondering if there's gonna be a stash down here somewhere. I'm sort of thinking there'd be like an evidence locker or something. Maybe not so much in the morgue, but possibly something. I seem to remember there, remember there being a locked door or two. Oh, I think it was that one. <laughs> Where's the fuse box? There you are. Hey, Anderson. Like what I've done with the place? Hmm. Could use a bit more glide. <laughs> Funny. How are you holding up? Ah, don't give me that worried look, Anderson. It's just a, it's a flesh wound. <laughs> Gave me a chance to have a, a nice chat about ex-wives with uh, Kieran. Uh, Agent Estevez, I mean. Making new friends, uh, huh? I'm jealous. Are you sure you're okay? Yeah, I'm fine. What's the... Situation on your end. What happened at the hotel? Wake was telling the truth about the cult being after him. The thing, the dark presence, it's real too. I saw it. A fucked up monster cloud. Wake tried to warn me. It knocked me out. FBC found me in the woods later. Watery turned out to be a good lead. Found the clicker and the cult. But the horror story is changing reality. Like Wake said it would. Logan, she's, uh. The story claims she died here. But we can stop it. Wait, Saga. What are you, um. Logan is gone. She has been. For a long time. Casey's affected by the horror story, too. I'm fighting for them all now. I'm gonna fix this, Casey. You, Logan, all of it. I just need to get the power back on first. Yeah, give him hell, Anderson. Just remember, some things in life can't be fixed with a light switch. As for the power problem, here. I found a fuse on those poor bastards there. I'll take care of it. Stay put, Casey. I'll let you know when it's safe. I'm not going anywhere. Anderson, good news, bad news. You can get to the cell block now, but the shaded hostels that were in there are on the loose. Thanks for the heads up. Couple bolts stuck in him that I was able to get. More oh. coming down. Should have an ability unlocked. Where'd it go? That uh, allows. Rifle to penetrate the shields. Sorry. 
Situation is under control, Estevez. Coming back up. Copy. Alright, was that everything down here? that missing bolt. I don't think there's anything else for me. Do a manual save. I'm gonna restart the game actually. It feels like it's chugging a bit, so sometimes that helps. Let me uh let me do that real quick though. Okay. Let's see if it does any better here. Sometimes it's the town too. I think uh, just Bright Falls in general seems to dock performance by a little bit. Eh, it already feels like it's a little bit smoother than it was. Oh, look here. Nice. This does look like an evidence locker. And I see the case in the back. Another cult box. Can't even read what that says. It doesn't allow me to zoom in. Um, I mean, I see a line. <laughs> oh, is it counting how many lines there are? I was like, it could be lines or points. I'm not too sure. So one, like six. Or is that, is that six? Is that triangle? I can hardly see that. Might be one, five, six. No. Might be points then. that either huh well is there something around here that may clue me in on this yeah, I wish I could zoom in on that well what I I don't know Let's see, because some of the lines poke out on this little triangle thing in the middle there. So if that's the case, and it counts like each intersection is a different line, then what? There'd be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, maybe. Maybe it's one, nine, six. Oh. Like if I'm right, it's either points or lines. There we go. Wait a second, didn't I try 156? Beware the cult of the tree. <laughs> I feel like I tried 156 and it didn't work. Oh, the lighthouse key, that's interesting. There's a lighthouse, which I don't think we've ever seen on stream. I've been up there off stream, uh, but that's in watery.
Where's that save point? Guess we gotta go there for the last of the cult stuff, though. I wish you could auto stack. Make my life slightly easier. And if they'd throw another like, puddle taken at me, I guess I might want to hang on to that rocket flare. Over here. Oh. Well, I was barging in here, ready to talk. Nothing I can interact with, them. Behind the counter. Got a little cramped in that closet. <laughs> wait, wait a second. <laughs> Why'd you put your leg through the arm bar? What's going on? We had a hell of a time avoiding those taken. Ended up back here. Anyway, I wanted to warn you that we have the Coscula brothers in the cells as well. They're the ringleaders of the Cult of the Tree. Don't let your guard down. Is the FBC sending any help? <sighs> we were the help. Well, us in the lake house. But we still have bureau gear specifically engineered to fight this threat. It's stored in the back lot. We were setting it up when the Taken interrupted us. We have light arrays, a containment cell, etc., etc. We are not out of this fight yet. What's at the lake house? It's a Bureau research facility at Cauldron Lake set up to study the effects of this AWE. When I got into town, I went there for backup. The whole station is lost, taken by the shadow. Lost a lot of agents. Barely got out myself. Wish me luck. According to the Luck and Probability Department, it's statistically bad luck to wish people good luck during a crisis. Thanks. Well, it got dark out here. I wasn't even down there that long. Cool look, though. Her <laughs> flashlight was just floating there for a second. Oh, wait a second. What have we here? New shotgun. Uh, research proposal, reallocate and cult connection. Summary. In 2010, writers suspected the para-utilitarian Alan Wake was reported to have disappeared in a cauldron lake known as a threshold site. Three years ago, a small group responsible for multiple killings was arrested in New York City by federal investigators. Come on, don't give me that crap. Controller just disconnected for no good reason. Uh, the murders are recreations of death found in the writings of Alan Wake. Interrogations with the murderers revealed that they saw Wake as a sort of prophet, describing themselves as his cult, and considered his novels to be sacred texts. As Wake was missing at the time, it's unlikely he had any personal involvement with this cult. At least, there's no evidence supporting this idea. Soon after the New York cult was detained, an organization known as Cult of the Tree began operating around Cauldron Lake. Same area Wake disappeared. This now is a second organization, branding themselves as a cult with direct physical connection with Alan Wake, operating in the location he was last seen in. I propose that this is not a coincidence, and would like some permission to search for a link between Wake and the Cult of the Tree. See file 14-54-5326 for full proposal. Emergency incident report the Lake House. Research facility WA-03 at Cauldron Lake, Washington has been compromised. Cause unknown. The incident was visually confirmed by Agent Estevez when she visited the facility to make contact with Dr. Marmon and Dr. Marmon. Heads of operations at the lake house. Got the same name, I guess. Maybe they're twins. Uh, the facility itself is reported to be in a damaged state with no living staff found during a brief search. Longer search was not possible due to an active AWE in the area requiring all available resources. Investigation and containment not possible within current personnel. Emergency dispatch, response, and res rescue staff is requested. The investigations department has no knowledge of Lake House's recent research or projects due to worsening communication and cooperation since HQ went dark. As a result, this report cannot determine the incident's cause without further investigation. For file 92-33-3215 for full incident report. So the whole concept or story behind the game control is that the head director of the FBC had gone missing, I think either gone missing or 
was gone or died. Something happened where there was no longer a head, and the character you play as basically takes over as head of the FPC. But I think during the gameplay, they're not aware of it. Um, I only know because, you know, sort of through osmosis, that's what people say, so that's what happens. But that must be where most of the disarray is at, so I don't know if it actually ends up getting resolved by the end of that game or what. Memory loss, battle to regain your mind, revolution for the brain, experience of time and other neuroscience breakthroughs. UFO myth and reality, part three, tricksters of falsehoods and, uh, oh, just tricksters of falsehoods, author Westmore. UFO myth and reality, part two, communication, or communion and testimonies, rather. UFO myth and reality, part one, sightings under the lens. This must have all been, um, breakers stuff. Don't forget, A equals 1, B equals 2, C equals 3, I equals 9, J equals O, K equals 1, and L equals 2. Staff kitchen policy reminders, do not microwave whole fish. I shouldn't have to say this. <laughs> Look, that's like a meme at this point. Important information, Mulligan owes me 20 bucks and refuses to pay it back. I suggest we dox pay for that amount, plus interest, add it directly to my paycheck, Deputy Thornton. Apply important information, Sheriff Station Admin. Thornton doesn't remember I already paid him back by buying him lunch months ago, so don't listen to him. I definitely do not touch my pay, or I'll swear to God I'll sue Deputy Mulligan. Reminder, the front desk computer and admin email are not to be used for personal quarrels or other unofficial business. Remember to wash your coffee mugs. Deerface, Deerfest safety preparations. Hey, y'all. Missed the sink on Deerfest safety prep last time. Any updates? What's the latest on crowd control? Whoever put bayonets into the suggestion box was clearly kidding, right? Right? Barb. Security measures. I understand that there's a need to keep the arrested folks under lock and key, but who the heck is paranoid, or the paranoid man-man, who -man? decided we needed every other door in our facility to be geared with the latest high-tech top security nonsense? The stuff's not safe. One power outage and those locks aren't budging. I've warned you about this a half dozen times now. Don't blame me when you're locked out. No way out. Um, this has to correspond to this. Just three digits. Maybe parts one, two, and three have something to do with that. Q, B, W. That is Quincy, right? No W, there's a B, but there's no W, <laughs> there's no uh, Q. I guess the rest of the letters are just missing. It was reset. Um, like every four, I guess. So I know the middle one is two. Um, Let me just take a look at a list of the alphabets just so I get a good look. Wait a sec, let me just make sure that corresponds. Okay, it does. And then zero counts as well. So we need Q, we need W. Shit.
There we go. Can't pick it up though, because it's too goddamn big. Too bad there wasn't a uh, satchel somewhere around here. Uh, is the only shoebox going to be the one downstairs? Saga! Fucking FBI, FBC, you government fucks all fucking this up for us! Let us the fuck out! You're the leaders of the cult. You're not going anywhere. It looks like another shotgun, but it also looks like maybe a pump action or automatic or something. So I'm wondering if I should just put current shotgun away. Of course, it also looks like a fairly big one. So I don't know. I don't have a whole lot of room <laughs> to begin with, though. Can't stack any of this shit. Ugh. I have so many health items. I think I'm gonna get rid of these. Uh, he's like one shot just about anything, so I don't necessarily want to get rid of those either. Flashbangs aren't quite as useful. I'm thinking it's not going to take up a full row, but it might take up four spaces. Oh, plus, I got this additional two down here, so... That should be enough, I think. No, not that. Actually, I don't want it in that second slot there. God damn it. All right, hold on. Let's just go see how much room it takes. Probably the only convenient factor to uh, this thing, though, is going to be the fact that it fires a little more rapidly. But I mean, that's kind of good too, because. I'm sure Sheriff Breaker wouldn't mind me borrowing this. Boy, I really don't like uh, that double barrel that much. All accounted for. We got all the weapons. Nice. Oh, it only takes three spaces. I was expecting it to take four. The shotgun that Wake has takes up four slots, which sucks. But, you know, it's also one of three weapons that he can carry, so. Pump action's nice, though. Um, got a lot of stuff for weapon upgrades. The, oh good. Oh wait, no, 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 no. It counts as his own gun, shit. Stay of course, stand still, aim steady at a target, drastically reduce the kickback and minim minimize pellet spread for increased damage. That's good. That's this one, the most expensive one. Hold the fire button on, activate auto fire mode. Eh, not really keen on that. Move faster while aiming, not bad. I think the damage. The Taken rushed toward her, but Saga remained where she was, unmoving. She willed the pellets to stay on course to hit the target. The Taken was closer. She waited. Closer. Still she waited. Until the very last moment. That's usually what I do with the shotgun anyway, just because of how shotguns usually work in video games. <laughs> I just wait until they're super close, or I get up right in front of them. What else do we got? Increase magazine size, not bad. Keep kicking that idea around, but eh. The solid off we are not using. Consecutive successful hits will significantly reduce the time between shots. Eh, don't need that. Oh yeah. I mean, I, I usually can hit my mark. Even though I am using a controller, I can hit my mark pretty easily. Not interested in rapid fire. How many shots she'd fired, but she was sure it must have been more than she had in her magazine, and yet she'd not run out of ammo. As if the magazine had grown to fit more bullets, she fired again. Nice. Who are we profiling, Casey? I 
can tell something is wrong. What's happening to Casey? I'm a goner. Swell. A shadow crawling under my skin. In my head. Call my ex. Tell her I'm sorry. Terminal case, Casey. Something is wrong with him. He's hurt worse than he says. Oh, you asshole. I'm not that far from the dongle. It really shouldn't be a connectivity issue. I don't think it's battery He's either. Scared. That's all the stashes. These people were well prepared. I wonder after all that dialogue and stuff, I should go check on Casey. Oh, you know what I need to do too? I need to quick slot this thing. Move the uh, sawed off out. Six shots. That's not bad. I'm assuming it has the same damage, even more so if I utilize the extra ability. You good? Just kind of sitting down there. All right, can't interact with them. Better not be a multiple ending type situation where we can save him by visiting him or something. Because I did it. Wake will ruin everything. Get rid of him, Saga. You fucking shot me. Typical government stooge. Let me out so I can kill him. That fucker! That we were family. You come to our town and act like you know what you're dealing with, but you have no fucking idea. Let us out. You can't stop it. None of you can. We can take care of this. We've been preparing for this. Saga, do you have it? You wrote Logan into the story. You told me yourself, from the dark place. Listen, Scratch is coming. He's, he's close. He's almost here. He's... My daughter is dead because of you. She's a child. What the fuck is wrong with you? I'm trying to fix this. I will fix this. I'll save everyone, but we're running out of time. I need the clicker. Ah, uh, so stupid. <laughs> If she reviews the facts that we know, probably not a good idea, but she's so hell bent. Oh, my daughter, uh, you gotta rewrite her back so she's alive. Shut up. I have the clicker. You will fix this. You will save my daughter. Promise me. Yes, I promise, but we're out of time. Hurry. All right, see what happens. Don't fucking give it to him. He's a fucking monster, Saga! There it is. We've been waiting for you, motherfucker. I'm gonna fucking destroy you! Yuck. was pretending to be wake. Yeah, no shit. Fucked. Estevez, come in. Scratch is here. How do I stop him? Bad news. The containment unit isn't prepped, but the light array should affect him. These must power the light array. Need to find more. 
Seem to affect him that much. Got one. <laughs> Two more to go. Too much time doing that attack. be back. What the fuck do we do now? He didn't get the clicker though, did he? Didn't catch if he did or not. Alright. Sounds like it might be a good song, but I'm not gonna play it. Scratches wakes double. He tricked us. He almost got the clicker from me. The whole plan has gone out the window. How could we get this so wrong? Textbook boondoggle. You said it, Anderson. It's a shit show. So what's the plan? The FBC usually handles stuff like this, right? Any thoughts? Hold up. You brought a paranatural object in here without telling me and then almost handed it over to a hostile entity? I didn't know almost. if I could trust you. That <laughs> was a mistake. Knew that you could trust Wake, so sort of. Scratch. But it's not too late. <laughs> I just need to understand more. <laughs> you got that right. Let's start acting like we're on the same side, yeah? The horror story is changing reality. It made it so my daughter died here, even though she's supposed to be back home in Virginia. Do you know if that's uh... AWEs are localized distortions of reality. The area outside town might not be affected. Sometimes they expand, sometimes they fizzle out. If we can make sure it's the latter, your kid might be fine. So tell me what I'm missing. The FBC must know something. Good news, we have Bureau Intel on all of this. Bad news, it's highly classified. Good news, consider yourself deputized into the Federal Bureau of Control. Here's a key to the cell where we keep the files. Happy reading. Okay. Um, thanks. Go team. The whole thing is a nightmare. I can't let my family be torn apart. Having family isn't easy in this line of work. So selfish. The late Saga. nights, travel, alternate realities threatening their existence. My ex-wife couldn't take it. Karen, you're Gay? better off without her. I know I am. He's a fag. I gotta play that anytime they insert a gay character. Sorry. 
It's a rule. Scratch pretended to be Wake to trick us. He almost won me over. I should have trusted my gut. I had a bad feeling about him when we found him at the lake. When that insane monster cloud came at me in the woods, I saw a face inside it. Wakes. I think he was always a monster. Always Scratch. Yeah. Yeah, I kind of knew that. Called it. Very first thing. You really don't remember Logan living in Virginia with me and David? Uh, I remember you and David having problems. You needed a break. You and Logan moved to Watery and... And then, uh... Then Logan... Took the name of the town by heart. Oh, well, that awful thing happened. After you came back to work, I thought you'd be the perfect partner for this case. If you were willing to return to the area. Okay. That's enough. The story is changing your memories. What you're remembering is fiction. Logan is alive. I'm not divorced. We never moved here. I remember the truth. No, no, no. Wake or Scratch, whoever that was, said the story could be used to attack us. We all need to question what's real. With that said, how do we know the story isn't giving you false hope? I can't convince them. I just need to change the story. Gaslit. I think we already read those documents. Uh, this is the kind of case my ex hated. No one's might kill me. That's funny. The cases that might kill me were my <laughs> ex's favorite, yes. Agent Young held his clipboard up to the light. The equipment was all accounted for. He ticked the boxes, satisfied. A noise on the other side of the back lot made him pause. He peered into the darkness. Nothing. Shrugging, he signed and dated the form. Estevez wanted everything ready, just in case. Young appreciated a cautious leader. Estevez had held it together even after the oldest house had gone dark. Young began to head inside. The local sheriff's station was a tight fit, but at least they had a coffee machine. Young felt optimistic. They even had the para-utilitarian in custody already. Another clatter behind him. Closer this time. He turned, hand on his holster. He called out to the darkness. This station has been seized by the Federal Bureau of Control. You're not authorized to be here. Suddenly, the lights flickered, went off. Young couldn't see a thing. Then from inside the station, the screams began. Sounds like fun. So, did Ilmo get out, or... What happened there? Anything interesting in Wake's cell? <laughs> I'm surprised the holding cells have a door that just leads directly out of the facility. What do we the got? Lake is a gateway to the dark place. Deployment order, urgent situation at approximately 1900 hours on the 13th of September 2023. Readings from a remote surveillance unit monitoring Cauldron Lake, a known threshold to what researchers theorize the origin of dimension A 040, the shadow, past acceptable limits. Attempts to contact FBC Research Facility WA03, codenamed the Lake House, were unsuccessful. On site event verification is not possible. Response procedures are initiated with immediate effect. Lead agent K. Estevez will mobilize investigation unit beta from the remote operations site at Redacted. All available shadow-specific equipment, lot 4-11B, has been approved for use in the field. Objectives to confirm an active event. If an active AWE is occurring, the dispatch team will identify its nature and severity, limit exposure, and attempt to contain or neutralize the source. 
If no event is active, check monitoring equipment, perform a limited profile sweep of the area, and check status of the lake house and its staff. Additional information, relevant operatives in the area include Cult of the Tree, Redacted, and Alan Wake, currently missing. I wonder who the third party is. What the hell is a para-utilitarian? Item classification request number 194-F. Summary of findings, description, and para-utility. Based on reports, the item is a light switch from a lamp cord, which part of the severed cord is still attached. Eyewitness accounts suggest that the item possesses the ability to alter reality, and changes being based on redacted when used by a capable para-utilitarian. Parsing this item's effect from that of the Cauldron Lake Threshold responsible for recurring AWEs in the area is difficult because only reported uses of the item have occurred near this threshold. Without more data, we cannot confirm that the item intensifies the effect of the threshold or vice versa, or if there is no connection whatsoever. Recorded material from Dr. Hartman after becoming a redacted have been revealed that Alan Wake eliminated Barbara Jagger, likely a physical manifestation of a redacted, by inserting the light switch into its chest and flicking the switch. The item is confirmed to have been used in 2010 to turn fictional writing into reality. See the file AWA-35. However, it is unclear what the relations and limitations of this effect are. Conclusion, light switch is a possible OOP. But the team cannot conclusively classify the item based on secondhand accounts. Proper examination and testing is required in order to determine classification and precise effect of the item. Maybe we'll get some answers then. Transcript of interview with subject Alan Wake, suspected para-utilitarian. Location, Bright Falls, Washington. Interviewer, Kieran Estevez, lead agent. Mr. Wake, you've been taken into FPC custody and will receive an in-depth interrogation at a later date. But for now, I need to ask if there's anything you can tell us regarding the incident at the hotel. Anything we may need to know. Wake. There's a force here you don't understand, a presence. It's after me. It wants to consume me, consume everything. Estevez. Yes, you mentioned this dark presence, quote-unquote, before. Why does it want you? Wake. It feeds on artists, on the art they create. It wants me because of my writing. But it can be any form of art, any artistic expression. Music, painting, film, photography. It can feed on any of it, all of it. You have to believe me. Estevez. We are well aware of this entity, Mr. Wake. We've been tracking the situation here for a long time now. You yourself have been on our radar for over a decade. I'm sure those nuts in the research department are just going to love checking you out. Hey, make a note to redact that before submission. Let's get back on track. You mentioned a light switch earlier. Where is it now? Wake. I don't know, but I need it. I can't end this without it. Will you help me get it? Estevez. Mr. Wake, you are in custody pending charges for branching or breaching in numerous federal violation codes. We're not going to give you a suspected paranatural object. Wake. You're not... Expletive, listening to me. Estevez. We are listening just fine. Now, do you have any accomplices? Wake. Expletive, you. Let me the expletive out of here. It's coming for me. We're all in danger. Interview was terminated due to subject being uncooperative. Wake isn't the first person the Dark Presence disguised itself as. Part supplements reply the shadow summary through extensive interviews with witness of AWE-35. Additional details regarding the shadow A-010 have been discovered. Redacted and redacted, both present during the AWE report, seeing a woman named Barbara Jagger in Bright Falls at the time. Jagger's former actress and Bright Falls resident who emigrated from the filmmaker, or with the filmmaker, Thomas Zane from Finland and was reported to have drowned in Cauldron Lake during redacted AWE in 1970. Research staff have concluded that Jagger's appearance is likely the case of a shadow manifesting in human form. Research is ongoing as to the nature of the connection between the shadow and some psychophysical signatures available for it to mimic. Current hypotheses are, A, the shadow can only manifest as artists or individuals tangently involved with the creation of art who have operated within a certain physical range of Cauldron Lake. B, the shadow can manifest as any individual contained, quote-unquote, definition needed within Cauldron Lake. Research is actively ongoing. See file 38-453-1873 for full report. Hmm. That appears to be all of it. So... What do we got 
got going on? FPC file and the clicker and its paranatural qualities. The clicker amplifies any changes to reality suggested by a piece of art. Makes them permanent. FPC brought powerful light arrays to subdue the Taken. The dark presence is vulnerable against bright light. At least that makes sense. NPC file linking cult activity to wake. Is there one for four wake? Okay, wake yep. and clicker. Already got the answers to these. See, I like it when I figure out everything and it just automatically posts the shit. I wish there was an automatic poster already. Make attack, FPC, Dark Presence, assumed form of Barbara Jagger. Casey, the thing attacked Casey and Wake's face. There was never any Wake, it was scratched the entire time. Wake has been contacting me from the dark place. Scratch wanted the same thing as Wake, the clicker. I need to know what information I can still trust. NPC file and capabilities of light switch object, the clicker. Okay, that might be it, unless I could play something for the story here, which doesn't look like it. Okay, profiling. What Scratch, Scratch wants? pretending to be awake. Manipulating me. What does he want from me? No. I'm in control here. It's my mind place. He's powerful. Too powerful. Just his presence here makes me feel sick. Like a wave of terror through my head. I feel his single-minded drive to get the clicker. Wake told me the clicker would fix this. But Wake was actually Scratch. How can I trust anything he said? The artist must conclude his work. He rides a storm on your piece. Wake up and smell the danger. We told you already, kiddo. What Tom said about the light switch is true. Don't let the story confuse you. You need him to write the ending you want. The clicker can make that ending come true. But we don't have Wake. Everything we knew about the clicker was true. He wasn't lying. I assumed Wake escaped the dark place. Is it possible he's still there? The big apple in an ocean of darkness. Gone diving. Note from my editor. You're using the wrong tense. <laughs> trapped in a loop. My friends will meet him when I'm gone. Wake is still trapped in the dark place. Maybe he always was. Yeah. Pretty sure he was. Wake and the clicker. Wake is trapped in the dark place. Wake is trapped in the dark place. He's been reaching out, communicating with me in the overlaps. That might be it for now. I guess we'll go see Estevez.
Scratch told me the clicker can be used to change the story. Does that match your understanding of this thing? Yeah, the light switch is a paranatural item, maybe even an object of power. We have verified reports that Alan Wake was in possession of it during the AWE here back in 2010. It definitely has power. We know that much. I can come up with a plan. I always do. Okay, then. The clicker can fix this. But I can't use it without Wake. Tor knows about this stuff. Maybe he can help. Wake is still in the dark place. How do I get him out? We live and breathe rock and roll. From the silence of screams, from the fever of dreams. The clicker can amp up other works of art, not just Tom's writing. Anything created with passion. The dark power of the lake will make it creep into reality. But if the holder of the clicker believes in the art, they can make it all come true in the flick of a switch. I can use the clicker without Wake. Only Wake's writing can change the horror story. But I can use the clicker to change something else. Like getting Wake out of the dark place. I will use the clicker to change reality and bring Wake back at Cauldron Lake. I'll need the right work of art, but that won't be a problem. I've got it now. I just need to tell the others what to do and fix everything. For good. So we need Wake to fix the story, right? That hasn't changed. So here's what I have. Wake's still trapped in the dark place, under the lake. I think we can use the clicker to get him out. But first, we need a work of art. Something other than his story. And that'll get him here. I'm not filling out the paperwork for this one. I wouldn't know where to start. But I'm sold. Okay. Look, this feels like something that once we get the ball rolling, there's no turning back. You sure you have it all figured out? No. <laughs> Not just yet. Give me a moment. Okay, Anderson. Yeah, as I thought. Ready. Seems like we're getting pretty damn close to the end here, so... Um, there still seems to be some... Missions, perhaps, with Wake. Um, I don't know if it's gonna be a similar situation. Like I've stated before, though, I think Saga's bit in the story seems to kind of be at the forefront and I feel like finishing up with her stuff is probably going to finish up the game so I don't even know if Wake is necessary in order to wrap it all up what's up with you people So I want to do a couple things before then, and I probably want to see if I can wrap up Wake's bit in the story before we actually, you know, get a, the ball moving. I'm sorry about your brother, Elmo. Yuck was all hard. He always went along with my ideas, no matter how stupid they were. Always happy to help. I got carried away. I never think things through. It's my fault. Why'd you start up the cult? I realize it's a bad time. But I need you to tell me everything about the cult of the tree. The cult is my craziest idea that ever worked. <laughs> Look, what kind of a cult calls themselves a cult? Exactly. We protect watery and bright falls. We're the good guys. A secret neighborhood watch. Well, that was the idea anyways. Look, we've always known about the horror inside the lake. When any taken come out, we kill them. You don't turn people into Taken. You kill the ones who already have. I knew it. I knew it. We were talking about it earlier in the stream. I'm like, these guys probably started this up to, you know, scare people out of the forest. And 
you know, act like some kind of protection for the town. Um, get all the taking that come out, I guess. It would make sense if Nightingale was already a taken, but the whole segment where you play as him is at the beginning makes it seem like he's human when it's happening, so that's sort of misleading, but yeah, maybe he was, uh, maybe he was already taken when he came out and you don't really get to see that kind of side of it. Though it is slightly horrifying then if the Taken just feel like or believe that they're real or whatever. How long has the cult been around for? Certain folks around here have always known about Cauldron Lake. Before us, it was the Torchbearers. And when I inherited the mission, I wanted to call it a cult. <laughs> it was genius. Just a name did half the work. Made people too scared to go into the woods at night. Business 101. Fear is a great motivator. You were trying to kill Alan Wake. Why? Nothing good has ever come out of Cauldron Lake. The nightmare that hit Bright Falls in 2010 was all because of his writing. And ever since then, pages of his stories are floating up from the lake, and monsters keep popping out. It's all him, Wake. And if we don't stop him, no one will. Wake's evil doppelganger scratches the threat we're facing. Not Wake. And I will stop him. I've never heard of anyone called Scratch. said the cult kills Taken. Is he telling the truth? Surplus deer masks by in bulk. We've got a floater, a Taken on the shore. Call the gang, Yako. We are going hunting. Cult of the tree. Keeping the town safe since 2013. Elmo is telling the truth about the cult. They really were fighting the Taken. We're on the same side. I still want answers. Okay, here we go. About Nightingale. If the cult is killing Taken, then why did Nightingale turn into one? Private party, invitation only. Wrong time, wrong place. Time to go, Yako. A job half done isn't done at all. Nightingale became a Taken because the Bookers interrupted their ritual. Um, hmm. Okay. So what does that mean though? Was he dead when he came out or <laughs> cuz he was if we're going by the beginning, he was still human seemingly. So I still find it weird that they perform this ritual but he was potentially I don't know, alive. That doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me, but okay. I'm gonna deal with the situation, Elmo. But the town will need protection until we sort this out. I could use your help. Right. Right. I'll round up the gang. Whoever's left. We won't let these fucking monsters hurt any more of our people. We'll do my brother proud. Thank you, Elmo. Go back to the car, see what we can do. Those people just hanging out. Out for a stroll, I guess. Looks like I was like recording it on his phone or whatever. <laughs> Taking selfies. The fight going down. So yeah, I don't know. Um they weren't able to perform their ritual in time, so he became a Taken, but he, they specify he became a Taken, so he wasn't a Taken before they started the ritual. <laughs> so I, I don't know. The whole Nightingale situation seems to be a bit of a... I don't know. It's like a odd point. I'm not too sure how to describe it, but uh, I feel like it's not completely well thought out unless they come up with an explanation after the fact which could end up being the case we'll see hey it's not your fault we all knew what we were signing up for i'm going to watery so i can check out that lighthouse real quick and then 
um, before we pass that point of no return, uh, we'll probably hit up Wake's section of the story. But anyway, yeah, I, I kind of figured the brothers weren't, like, actually running a legitimate cult. I mean, one, they're, one of the things I was kind of, like, getting caught up on was the fact that they're used as, like, comedic relief, basically, throughout most of the little TV spots and such. And it's like, I'm thinking, all right, if these guys are the villains here... You're basically degrading your the threat of your villains by making them jokes with the little stupid TV commercials and coming up with the stupid ideas like the Coffee World amusement park and all that kind of stuff. So I figured, like, all right, that's one thing. How's this person doing out here? Are you just hanging out, sir and or madam? I guess. That was part of it, and the other part was they seemed relatively friendly with um, Saga when they first encountered her, just because the story had already started to take shape, I suppose. But, you know, they had her um, trailer park home and kept it all safe and whatnot, so I figured, well, they have some semblance of loyalty there, so there's just that aspect of it as well. So that kind of clued me into the fact that, you know, maybe they're still looking for the best interests of the town. But it was, uh, at that point, it was either, you know, this was like a misguided attempt. And, you know, they were doing not so great things, but it was the thought behind it that uh, sort of redeemed them. Or um, there was something else at work. Or they were trying to lure out Wake or something along those lines, but it didn't quite end up being that. Uh, it still gave him the opportunity to potentially get him, though. Oh, I think that's an item uh, pack increaser. They're too old to fight monsters. The torchbearers are done. We need something new. Elmo took a long drag from the joint and handed it to his brother. They'd been drinking and smoking all night. That thing from the lake was not a man, and the government's trying to hide it. Elmo gestured at the files they had stolen from the research station. The strange seal with an upside-down pyramid. The Federal Bureau of Control. We need to keep the feds away. Deal with us our way. We need an army of our own. Yako smiled. He loved to watch his brother come up with his ideas. Ilmo's gaze swam. It was seeing double. The pyramid on the folder was a spruce tree. A tree, he thought. A fucking tree. It was a sign. We'll make the woods scary again. So fucking scary, no one will set foot in them at night. That's how we'll keep people safe. We'll be a legend. We are the cult of the tree, and we watch in the night. We're gonna need scary masks. Energized, Yako chugged a bottle of Ama beer in one go. It's still a little misguided. It's like, we'll make the town safe by making the town very scary. Good for the people that are already in there, maybe, outside of possibly terrifying them, but, um... In the long run, you ain't gonna get too many, like, visitors. I don't know how much people are gonna be wanting to visit just for Deerfest, if they're all freaked Bill out. Bill Mokoskal had jolted awake from a nightmare. He was drenched in sweat. In the dream, he'd been covered in blood gleefully murdering people, his friends. When his twin brother had tried to talk sense into him, he had murdered Yako as well. Ilmo slammed his fist into his temple so hard it hurt. The dream made him feel sick. The dark force of the lake was growing stronger. It was trying to make Ilmo and Yako something they were not. Trying to turn them into Ilmari and Yakopi Huatari from the early days of Watery. But they were the Koskala brothers. Their mother had not raised them to become murderers. They had backbone. They had honor. They had finished Zisu. Something bad was coming. The hidden device they had hooked to the FBC station had been intercepting alarms like crazy the past few days. Ilmo would make sure his cult was ready for war. Out in the night, the story seeking to give birth to an overlap in watery drifted on, 
looking for another pair of men more prone to corruption. Uh, okay, so I couldn't corrupt them, so I corrupted the deputies. Shit load of supplies, good thing I got the uh, item pack. This has got to be an Ilmo idea. <laughs> what the hell is it? <laughs> it's like a super lamp on top of a lighthouse. Satellite dish, shadow monster, light ray 3000 generators. Mirrors draw light from the main light thing. Uh, very technical, I see. Uh, is that it in here? We got a shitload of items and we got our last item increase, so... You know, that's good enough for me. Speaking of the Coscula brothers, there was uh, one... I guess there's more ads out there. We haven't seen them all. We got four out of six, but there was this one I got off stream. Yako, we're going to a cool guy's house to drink some brewskis. Are you coming? Cool no, guy. Oh, Ilmo. I'm very busy wearing a turtleneck and drinking wine like an asshole. <laughs> oh, dear. I know what Yako needs. I'm a mirror to the rescue. <laughs> Bring out your inner Wolverine with Ahma Beer. Wow, this is the best party ever. Thanks, Ahma Beer. Ahma Beer is a traditional Finnish lager. I just uh, okay, unless they're twins, I just realized that it's the same guy <laughs> just now. At the bar while and his brother is wearing a really shitty fake beard. Getting blackout drunk on a boat during midsummer and trying not to drown. In the sauna, using your beer can to hide your big belly from wandering eyes. <laughs> Partaking in the Finnish tradition of Kalsarikannit. Drinking at home alone in your underwear with no intentions of going out. It's not sad if it's intentional. Oh, my beer. <laughs> I like the tongue action there. Adventure starts here. Wow. Well, if I see any more ads, definitely play them. <laughs> We're missing two, so there's still two out there. there's anything else I need to do here we're pretty much good as far as water is concerned uh, we just got the lighthouse taken care of which was like the last thing really I wasn't even sure if we'd be able to get in there <clears throat> it's just uh, I'd gone up there and noticed that it was locked but got that final stash from the cultists and there it be a little bit of lore got a weird Schematic for some sort of lighthouse death ray. <laughs> Got a shitload of items and an item expander. So that all works for me. Um, I think... Let me just look real quick. Let's take a look at the map. Oh, there's a trauma pad in there. I might want to go back for that. There's that locked door that actually got knocked down. On the trauma pad, yeah, I don't think I'm seeing anything major. Got all the lunch boxes. That was like the one thing that was kind of a pain in the ass that um, you can't really account for on the map. But I managed to find all those. What the hell was that noise? Why are you sitting in the rain on your phone? The sheriff station? Did you hear? Hear what? Apparently, they locked up that crime writer, you know, the one who disappeared in Bright Falls years ago. And then they find him, and boom! How much people ever turn any lights on in here? City folk, the FBI, famous writers. Ugh, they're all bad luck if you ask me. Yeah, fuck those city folk. So, is everyone all right down there in Bright Falls? I just don't know. Um, where else can we go? Cauldron, I think Cauldron Lake's all accounted for. 
like I said, as far as like getting all the Saga stuff, which is all out in the real world, we had gotten everything. I was just missing that one cult stash, basically. And we ended up getting it in the sheriff station. So that unlocked the lighthouse. So I got that taken care of. And I think that's it. Unless we want to go exploring to find the two television ads. I don't think there's really anything else that we can uh, be on the lookout for, really. So we're pretty much good, I think, on, on Saga's end. Um, so we'll be doing Wake's bits of story. I might even see if I can finish up Wake uh, and, and his side. And then maybe Saga's, because I'm like, again, I'm, I'm feeling like Saga's probably just going to end the story. I mean, maybe it's a thing where, you know, the, you could finish up Wakes after the fact. I, I'm not really sure. But I think I'm just going to see if I could press through and get as far as I can with Wake's side of the story. Also, thank you, I care. I appreciate that, Lurk. And, um... And we'll go ahead and wrap things up. Uh, but yeah, I was thinking at the start of the stream, I mentioned it, right? Just because I had done all the collectibles and stuff, I felt like we were getting kind of close to the end here. Which I think we are. Um, and at this point, I'm going to end the stream. <laughs> so we'll have another stream to work with uh, for this game. Should be fun, but I'll give myself plenty of time. I do think I want to try and finish it up uh, next time around. And that should be good. But yeah, we are all done for tonight. Thank you guys for watching. I do appreciate it. Uh, I'll try to be back. Mm, yeah, I don't usually stream on the weekends, but we've been hitting it up so frequently, I think. It's not really going to be much of a problem if I just do Saturday. So we'll probably be back on Saturday and look at finishing this game up. But it's been a blast so far. I've been really enjoying it, uh, as evidenced by the fact that I've been streaming it every day since, uh, not necessarily since launch, but since I started it. <laughs> it's just been consecutive Alan Wake 2 streams. And yeah, we'll knock it out, beat it within a week. But that's how these things go. Still, that save file said about 24 hours spent on this game. Maybe some of that was idling or something. I have to let it run while I was doing other things. So do an off stream, but still, that's a that's a pretty lengthy game in my opinion. And um, I don't usually put that much time into you know kind of more action, even if like it's survival horror esque, but action type games like this, unless I really like them. So it's been uh, it's been enjoyable. But uh, you guys take care. Have a good night. We'll catch you all next time and uh, see you at the end of Alan Wake 2. But until then, have a good night. Later.